These are the different methods and different strategies I use both for client videos and for my own YouTube videos to try and make them as cinematic and dynamic as possible. Let's do this. I know this is probably one of the most rinse techniques now. I feel like everyone's used it. Still doesn't beat the sort of effect it gives. And it's a great way to start to include some POV shots into your work. So I got this magic arm from Amazon recently and it's a good way to make the viewers really feel like they're a part of the scene. The product itself is pretty sturdy. The brand is small rig. I'm not anticipating this breaking on me anytime soon. You clamp one end to the camera and then one end to your object. And in that way, the background can move and whatever's in the foreground is basically constant. You can also use this to get a bunch of different static angles. If I'm outside, I found that attaching this to a branch or a sign is a great way to get some sick shots. I'll be sure to put the link in the description to check it out if this is something that interests you. Hey guys, quick intermission. I just checked and 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. We've got some crazy videos about to drop and I'll take for you guys to miss out on them for real. This is a macro adapter. This turns any sort of lens, for the most part, into a super close macro lens. And they have different strengths, so they're pretty versatile. It allows you to add another layer of depth and scale to videos. I was very hesitant to get a gimbal in the first place. And when I finally got to use one, it really changed the way that I shoot. And it allowed me to get some really sick shots that handheld movement just really can't do. So these are some of my favorite gimbal shots to do. And some of these are definitely more creative than others. these shots, I use some sort of frame, form or object to actually frame the image. It's a way of telling everyone watching to only pay attention what's included in the frame and plus it looks kind of cool. And the thing is, sometimes for this to be practical, you might need to build a small rig. Don't think this is an easy shot. For me personally, it's taken sometimes even an hour to get a shot that I like. 